I again from Whitby today. Uh, it's still in the north of England, a bit south from Kielder where we were last week, but uh, still very far from London and everywhere in the south of England. Whitby is very famous because of Dracula, we're going to get into that in a minute, uh, but it's not the only thing that Whitby's famous for, there's lots of other things. It played an important role in Britain's whaling industry. During the 18th and 19th century, the shipbuilders here built specific sturdy vessels for whale hunting. Around the same time, it was also the place Captain Cook learned to sail. He became one of the greatest explorers of all time, mapping out the east coast of Australia and New Zealand, as well as the Hawaiian Islands. I might very well do a video just on Captain Cook in the near future, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. <laughs> and another thing that Whitby is famous for is its fish and chips. So, I've come to here, Trenches. This is officially the UK's number one yeah. chippy according to the sign. On TripAdvisor it is number one as well though. So, yeah, let's get some chips and see what it's like. Alright, if that, uh, if that cue is anything to go by, then hopefully they're going to be good. Well, you can really smell the fragrance on these fine dancers. But now you just need to imagine that. Ready, set, go. Yeah, they're good. I don't think they're any, anything better than any other place, to be honest. But they are good. Obviously, with it being a special occasion, we've got to finish it off with an ice cream. I just noticed that everybody's got these little fishing bags that they threw over the side. I'm not sure if they're trying to catch fish or crabs or what. Oh, there's some in there. He's caught some. How long does it take to catch one? Right. Alright, this is it. This is Whitby's main tourist attraction, Whitby Abbey. Built in the 7th century. As you can see around Whitby there is a lot of inspiration for Dracula. The steps that I had to walk up to get here, the 199 steps, they are the steps that Dracula had to run up when his ship wrecked. I've not actually read the book but I'm aware that he was a dog at the time. <laughs> Bram Stoker apparently took many inspirations from Whitby, including the fact that his ship getting wrecked was based on a real ship that got wrecked here in 1895, which was five years before Bram's visit. The real ship was a Russian vessel called the Dmitri, whereas Dracula's ship was called the Dementor. We also know that on the 8th of August in 1890, after reading a book in Whitby Library about modern Romania, Bram Stoker decided to change the location of his story and no longer set the novel in Austria as he was intended but he did use the same date, the 8th of August, as the same day that the Dementor shipwrecked. And the last fun fact I'll leave you with is some of these names on these gravestones are the exact names that Bram Stoker used for his characters in Dracula. So if you ever do come to Whitby, you'll be able to walk around and see how many you recognise. All right, and that is the end of the vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you're coming to Whitby, make sure you check these places out. I'll put links in the description so that you can see them for yourselves. Definitely worth a day trip. The Dracula stuff is really interesting. I'm actually going to read Dracula now because I can't believe I've never read it before. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to be starting a new channel soon, Jackson Book Club. It's coming very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my day here on the beach, and I'll hopefully, hopefully see you next time. Ciao.